Hi, my name is Chris Jukes and this is a quick introduction to Calendar One. Calendar One allows you to manage your shared exchange calendars on your iOS device using the built-in calendar app. You can see I've uh, added a couple of calendars already for speed, one called Bob and one called Pete. But firstly I just want to show you how to connect your exchange system. Tap on settings. The important thing here is the endpoint. The endpoint is how Calendar One knows how to connect to your system. If you have a look, um, I've got uh, https colon slash slash webmail networksfirst.com and then slash ews slash exchange dot asmx your administrators may be able to tell you what your endpoint is. If not, a quick way of working this out is jump into settings, click on mail contacts and calendars, click on the appropriate account for your uh, corporate email account, click on your email name and you'll see displayed in server your server URL which is for me webmail.networksfirst.com jump back over to calendar one and you look in endpoint I've simply prepended that with https colon slash slash and appended it with slash ews slash exchange dot asmx domain is simply whatever your domain is um, what's important about the domain is uh, if you're using a hosted solution like Exchange 365, leave the domain blank. Username and password are your username and password for your Exchange account. Okay, as I said earlier, I've already added for speed a couple of calendars, but let's go ahead and add one to show you the process. Hit the plus button. You can fill in the data. Um, manually or the quicker way is to jump tap the address book choose groups choose exchange global list I'm gonna add one in for Susan so let's just see if I can search Susan there she is give uh, give the title let's call it Sue let's save that let's grab Susan's calendar that got me four entries Let's jump over into the calendar app and you can see um, some data there for myself and different people. This is a standard calendar app. If you click on the calendars, let's turn off uh, all of the shared calendars and you can see that this is just my diary. And then I add in uh, accounts that came from Bob that shared with me in exchange, events that he shared with me in exchange and events that Sue shared with me in exchange. If I want to update these, this is an important point to remember is that Calendar One doesn't update automatically. This is a restriction of iOS. The fact that when an application goes into the background, it cannot get to process. So you have to come in here and manually hit the refresh button that will sequentially go through each of your shared calendars and pull down any updated calendar information. If you wish to just update one, you'll simply just go into that particular one and it will get calendar. It does the same thing. Calendar one is available on the App Store to download. If you need any further information, don't hesitate to contact me personally. Just send an email to calendar one and networksfirst.com. Thank you.